Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and today we're going to do a video a little bit different to the normal so bear with me. We are looking at the Skywatch of Skyhawk 1145 EQ1 telescope not to be confused with the 1145P. Main differences between the two are the price and the reason this is the, the um, lower cost of the well the three Skyhawk range in the in this category is because it doesn't come with a parabolic mirror it comes with a a basic straight through finder scope instead of the red dot finder and uh, three basic eyepieces instead of the modified achromatics that you get with the other two Skyhawks at the higher price range and this one has just come out this week with the retail price in the UK of £129 so it really is designed for, for the beginner. It comes with a standard EQ1 mount, sheep not included sorry, and as I've mentioned before with these EQ mounts very very easy to move around. Notice there on the back the collimation screws again very easy to use nice and easy to hold and so collimation with this will be a breeze. It's just a 500 millimeter focal length f4.4 so it's a very fast telescope and if you were to stick a um, in time to come stick a let's say a 25 or a 32 millimeter plus L eyepiece in you'll be very imp impressed with the results as I was when I tested it with my own olive on 32 millimeter plus L. so by all means if this is your second scope use the eyepieces from your, your, your better scope in this and you'll not be disappointed and so I know the temptation is to put a camera on the eye, eyepiece from the word go nowadays but believe me this, this focuser is not quite strong enough to hold a DSLR and um, you, you do get actually a very nice view for the eyepiece. So the three eyepieces give a range from just 20 magnification through to 45 up to 125. And at 125, it's the 4mm eyepiece you use. And I was actually quite surprised when I looked at the moon. And I found a crater in the centre of field of view, and excuse my pronunciation, called Theophilus. By all means, use the comments below if I've made a complete hash of that. And I found out that this crater is 100 kilometres wide and 3.2 kilometres deep. So 100 kilometres wide, just imagine the, let's say the United Kingdom or, or your nearest city next to that and you have an idea of the scale of this one crater. And in the middle there are three peaked mountains and with this telescope at 4 millimetres I could pick out two of them so, and I could easily see detail in the crater, the, the rim around the edge. And this crater was formed around about 1.1 to 3.2 million years ago. And so if you were to just take a photograph of this and not think anything of it, all this information you wouldn't know anything about. And this is what astronomy is about. It's about learning, not just about sticking a smartphone on, taking a photograph and knowing nothing really about the craters that you're looking at. So by all means, when you look through this telescope, pick out a crater, get yourself a a lunar map or a resource online, find out what crater you're looking at and find out the history of it. You might be surprised and with this crater I was looking at with this telescope at 125 magnification I found out that Apollo 16 collected several pieces of basalt that are believed to be ejected, ejected from the formation of this crater all them millions of years ago. And also when I was looking in the area I also had a look at the massive escarpment, the Roops Altai, which is 427 kilometres long. And again, imagine the United Kingdom up against that, and that shows you the scale of this mountain range. And with this little budget £129 telescope, with a 4mm low spec eyepiece, I could see detail in that escarpment. So, when you get this telescope home and uh, hopefully purchase it, purchasing from us with the link below. Put the camera to one side and just enjoy that view through the eyepiece. 
whenever you're using it for the first time use the lowest power, power eyepiece to start with then go through the magnifications refocusing as you go and centre the moon and there'll be something different to look at and some information on various craters and uh, mountain ranges, escarpments, valleys etc. You'll see them all with this telescope for £129 delivered. So as always thank you very much for watching I hope that helps and please check out the links in the description below.